Hey Pfingstus, the average earning of a freelance developer is $51 per hour. In some instances, uh, even $61 per hour. So you can find all kinds of uh, statistics and often there is a difference between the median and the average income of a freelance developer. But just assume it is between $51 and $61 per hour. And while this is very attractive to many people, um, there's, there's the variance actually comes from um, the different platforms, the different ways to attract freelancing clients and uh, so the standard two ways the best I, I would say the best opportunities in 2020 and 2021 are Fiverr and Upwork so these are Fiverr is the fastest growing freelancing platforms platform on the market the fastest growing major I should say um, I'm sure there are some minor uh, platforms that are faster growing but on a very a very small base and Upwork is the biggest freelancing platform on the market and I think choosing one of them is, uh, is, a, is a great opportunity these days and you cannot do uh, you cannot make anything wrong starting out on these platforms but there's a third freelancing platform that is um, very tailored towards uh, highly skilled coders and this platform is called TopTal toptile.com you, you write it like uh, i'll give a link in the description below and uh, toptile is uh, is um, very it's, so this platform um, allows only five percent of the applicants to actually finish some gigs and to actually like enter the platform so therefore it is highly competitive to join there but if you have joined the platform uh, competition drops to almost zero level yeah so you will have very high demand for your services if you just can enter the marketplace and often the barrier of entry of a marketplace is your best protection for example we had this freelancer platform freelancer.com which was one of the uh, biggest freelancing platforms a few years ago um, but this like the the, the platform basically um, uh, failed because it has zero barrier of entry so therefore every, everyone could enter and therefore we had big competition global competition for the for the best fiber uh, for the best freelancer.com gigs and uh, the prices dropped to zero and um, this does not happen with upwork and fiber as i said the average uh, earning potential of a freelancer on fiber and upwork is 51 to 56 dollars uh, 61 dollars per hour so um, the earning potential is quite good on upwork or fiber but uh, if you, if you like focus, if you find a good positioning, and if you if you have a value-oriented mindset, um, but if you if you somehow manage to join, um, say, Toptal, which is the top, like only five percent of the top coders um, actually have a shot, actually can can even start, they can even create an account there. Then of course competition is even lower than on Upwork or Fiverr. So therefore, it's very attractive to go there because if you just go there you will have the best clients in the industry the clients that expect quality work and that uh, um, um, agree basically that are willing to pay premium prices for premium freelancers and therefore competition basically reduces significantly on these platforms if you are on this platform it's very easy to get some clients and uh, i found the best strategy to start on top tile if you are not already a great coder say working on google or facebook and so then usually you, you have a very good shot on getting to the platform uh, ultimately if you want to join the platform and you try it for years you also have a very good shot so the overall probability to join the platform if you try it again and again improving your profile improving your profile doing everything you can to enter there is uh it's uh, uh, so you have also a very high probability and if you join the platform it's also very like statistically likely that you earn six figure salaries so this should be your so even if you start out on upwork or fiverr this should be your goal you should you should start out on upwork and fiverr to build your profile to build your portfolio and then uh, ultimately bring freelancers uh, like um, to, to your own platform like bring them outside of the freelancing platform so that you have them on your list and um, and you also have some gigs working outside of any platform because it makes you independent from the concrete platform this is a good business strategy to be more independent more robust against change but also try constantly try to go to top tile so this is uh, 2000, in 2020 2021 is an excellent opportunity to um, improve your skills um, even faster because you have better gigs, better jobs, higher paying clients and um, also increase the value to the marketplace and reduce competition so you will have a much much more relaxed 
uh, time if you have managed to join this excellent platform. If you want to learn more about uh, freelancing, then check out my book, Leaving the Red Race with Python. I give a link in the description below. Also check out my free webinar, How to Build Your High Income Scale Python. I give a link in the description as well. See you in the next video. Bye.